Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, uh, let's take a look at the gold market right now. Well, uh, to be honest guys, it's not really much to say on the gold, uh, because recently as you can see market shows very uh, poor action, so it's no, in fact there's no action at all in recent couple of sessions, uh, but we, we have changed our uh, analysis on the weekend and said that due to the patterns that we see right now on the monthly chart, on the weekly chart, we probably should be ready for the further down reduction. Besides, gold has failed to uh, complete with this a to, con to continue action with this ABCD pattern up and has uh, uh, destroyed the bullish grabber that has been formed here. And in fact, this action to the downside mostly has destroyed uh, the the bullish short term setup. It has uh, it has transferred, it has moved the setup of the possible retracement on a high degree, on the high time frame scale. And from that standpoint, uh, in general, the situation looks so that uh, theoretically the market still could show some upward action, could so show some retracement, but if this really will happen, that will happen on the another uh, time frame, it will be weekly, uh, and it will not happen as soon as it could be based on the daily ABCD. So first market should continue move lower to form some bullish pattern on the weekly. If it will be formed at all of course. And only after that market maybe will form um, will start some bounce. But it, for us it means that in the short term perspective we probably have uh, bearish context for trading. Because uh, further action to the downside the appearing of the reversal pattern on the weekly chart suggests uh, the bigger scale and bigger things and uh, the one pattern that really could be formed soon it may be some sort of the double bottom here but it suggests that possible further downward action at the same time we have the bearish grabber on the monthly chart that suggests the taking out of these lows it could be Russian rings for example but anyway that the, the, the uh, most bullish pattern let's call it in that manner the most bullish pattern that could be formed without no new significant lows on the monthly chart. It's all. It could be all or only the double bottom. Nothing more. That will let us simultaneously to complete the bull, the bearish grabber on the monthly and to form some bullish pattern. That's only double bottom. Uh, but this is optimistic scenario. It, it also could be the drop to the 19 even. Uh, so the next FIB support, the major FIB support on the monthly chart. Um, that's why we just. It's difficult to say currently right now, but what we could say is that uh, the patterns that now are forming on the high time frame chart suggest that market probably should continue to move lower. Besides, uh, take a look on the most recent action. Market has erased these lows, taken out of these lows, erased this bullish grabber, erased this ABCD pattern, erased the opportunity for the possible butterfly. So all bullish setup, possible setups ha have been erased here. At the same time, take a look that market doesn't show any significant bounce. So trying to move high, fail trying to move higher failed. Uh, it really smells like possible downward continuation soon. Very lazy, very uh, heavy looking market the gold is. Uh, on the forward time from chart you could see on the action that we have discussed yesterday we said well market has completed this ABCD maybe some minor retracement could happen this really has happened. Market barely has reached the even nearest FIB support as uh, for FIB resistance. 11.28 the first FIB resistance the market barely has completed it. Also take a look market, market even wasn't able to hit and to test weekly pivot point. It's trying to move higher to reach it but has failed and wasn't able to do this. This really very heavy action. That's why probably we could get some downward continuation uh, very soon. And in general, this overall action doesn't uh, look, doesn't provide us, doesn't give us any hopes for a possible upward action. Of course, if nothing drastic will happen, 
if some really breaking news of some, some something awful will happen in this case yes we could count but uh, taking a look by the tech purely on the technical picture on how market behaves recently uh, it's very difficult to make the bets on the possible upward reversal especially taking in consideration the action that we've got on the last week uh, so it's probably we should be ready for the downward continuation here